Estás viendo Canal América, Televisión Dominicana para el Mundo. A Time for True Show is sponsored by the office of Dr. Bernard Fiakoff, a periodontal, dental implant and laser specialist in New York City, for over 40 years. Dr. Fiakoff was honored by the International College of Dentists and Pierre Fauchard and received the Presidential Lifetime Humanitarian Honor from the White House. Call us at 718-229-3838. Sometimes life can be so damn hard You don't know where to go Everything is falling apart yeah. You try to do your best But only God knows that you given everything you've got But the world takes you down You just keep moving on at your feet. Welcome to a Time for True show. It's a pleasure to have you back again. I'm your host, Dr. Bernard Fialkoff. And today and tonight, all day, we have something that you can smile all day long, beautiful white teeth, contoured the way you want it, without those ugly spaces, the dark triangles, all of these things that my patients always complain about. This is a presentation especially for you to give you back that smile you've always wanted. And we're very lucky tonight to have with us Dr. Arthur Volker. And we'll put him up on the screen, Buddha, so we can introduce him to you. Dr. Arthur Volker, DDS, a master's in education, and a fellow of the Academy of General Dentistry. And there you see him. He graduated from the Columbia University School of Dental and Oral Surgery and did his general practice residency at the New York Hospital of Queens. He's a clinical attending at the Kohler Goldwater Specialty Hospital and Nursing Facility. He's the owner of Digident Laboratory as well as his dental office. He's a former Academy of General Dentistry Vice President, author of numerous published articles and lectures, both nationally and internationally. On tonight's topic of cosmetic dentistry and minimally invasive dentistry. He's an instructor for the Center of Aesthetic Excellence and the BioClear Learning Center, a diplomat of the World Congress of Minimally Invasive Dentistry, and is certified in Invisalign in six months miles. He has a fellowship award from the Academy of General Dentistry and the American College of Dentists. And Dr. Volker, runs a private practice in Queens, and we're very lucky to have him with us today. And uh, engineer, if you could, let's bring him up live on the screen and bid a warm welcome to Dr. Art Volker. Welcome, Art. Thank you so much for having me on the show. It's, a, it's really an honor and a privilege to be here with you. Well, I, I look forward to tonight. You know, a, so many patients come in complaining about what we're going to talk about tonight. So engineer, you know, if you can, let's get right to it because Dr. Volker has provided us with a lot of great images that our, our viewers can really see what is possible. And let's start with the first image, uh, engineer Buddha. Let's put him up on the screen. When I was in dental school, you know, it was kind of in the era of, of what we used to call extreme makeover. I don't know, Ben, if, if you or your audience oh, remember yeah, that show or people would have these really like awful smiles and to get them a smile quickly to give them these beautiful teeth sometimes we really had to drill the teeth very very aggressively and when i look at a picture like this i'm always reminded of how years ago this would have been a very acceptable way to treat 
a patient to give them a nice smile. But I mean, Ben, you're, you know, as a, as a specialist and a, as, a, as a periodontist and surgeon, you know, this is not something we want to give to our patients. This is, this is a very destructive way to provide cosmetic dentistry, aesthetic treatment for our patients. So I always like to put this up to kind of remind us of maybe where we used to be. Because although the smiles look beautiful in photos, this was the reality of what was going on. So those patients who we did crowns and, and very aggressive type treatments to give them a beautiful smile, did we do some type of damage for them? And more importantly, nowadays, what are our options? So Ben, what I want to talk a little bit about today, and again, thank you so much for, for having me. Uh, and, and I just, again, before I start, really wanna say I'm really enamored by what you're doing. So it's, it's really so great to be a part of this. But what can we do today as clinicians from a surgical standpoint, from kind of like what dentists do in, in making teeth beautiful, can we do something that provides you an aesthetic dental treatment? It doesn't have to be something like this. Do we have to be as destructive to natural, beautiful tooth structure as we were in the past? So that's why I put this photo up here to kind of give us maybe, what's the old saying, the way we were. And, and what can we do now? This bonding, if you look at it, this tooth colored filling, it, it looks dead. It does not look very lifelike. And so, with the advances in some of our materials and techniques, I'm gonna show you later on how we can even approach this in an even less invasive manner. Thank you. So this is the same case, but this is after we removed the old filling and we had to prepare the teeth, drill the teeth slightly to create a kind of a, a shape so that when we get the case back from our laboratory, we can put in the veneers. And I just want you to take a look here. Although it is not as aggressive as the at first picture, that really jarring, very heavily prepared, very amputative uh, removal of tooth structure, you can see that there is still some that we have to do here. Now, did we get a nice result? And the next photo will show you what we were able to get. Sure, let's go. That. There we go. Look at beautiful. Yeah. And you can see beautiful smile. And, and one of the reasons I like putting this picture, especially with the specialist uh, like Dr. Ben, is because this is a patient who not only did a great job with uh, maintaining their, their smile, if you will, or rather the laboratory provided them a nice smile, but they did a very nice job of keeping everything clean. You can see beautiful, healthy gums. And I know that would impress a, a periodontist like Dr. Ben, but the question is, what else can we do? Can we have treated this gentleman? And I'm very happy with the result, but are there ways that we can treat the patient and you and the audience in an even less invasive way? Now, this is definitely what we call a minimal preparation veneer, uh, meaning it's made by porcelain, so it actually gets made by a dental laboratory. But there is two steps involved. As you saw, there's one where we actually prepare the teeth and, and shave them down just slightly. Uh, and then the second one is when we actually place them. And as you can, again, beautiful result, fantastic technician, and a very compliant patient. But there are other options, Ben. And I mean, one of the ones I did want to talk about a little bit is that what if we were even less invasive? Describe this one, Dr. Volker. Yeah, so so this is this is another one. And as you can see, this is a patient who I would say has, has kind of a beautiful smile, but there's some things you can notice about it. And I want you to just take a look uh, at her two front teeth. Uh, and you can see a little bit, those little dark areas. Some of it is naturally occurring, but there's also an old filling. It's kind of on the corner on the, on your, on the screen, on the upper right of your screen. Uh, and she has an old filling that did not look good in photographs. It didn't look good in her smile. Uh, and so she also had some natural intrinsic staining of her teeth. But also, if you go a little bit to the left on your screen, you can see that the side tooth, not the very front one, but the side tooth is a little bit tucked in. So this lends itself for a particular type of dentistry that can be completely additive. So what we did here in this case is we removed some of the old dentistry, but where it differs from the other example, especially that first photo, but even really that first case that I showed is that all I had to do here 
is really just remove some of the old dentistry. So uh, we did not touch the teeth. And then we were able to add and build the teeth up. So if we go to the next slide, you can see what we were able to do for this lovely young lady. Well, you, you can, can really, you can still... really, you can really, I got to tell you, you can really notice immediately on the left side of the screen how you brought that incisor out. That's right. And so we did that with no reduction of tooth structure. Why? Because now I had space to add. And the material we used here is something that your dentists are using. This is called either they call it bonding. Really, we call it composite resin. You would know it also as a tooth colored filling. But by not preparing the teeth, because we had some space, we were able to use actually, and this is the funny thing, we actually used about three or four colors in these teeth. Very subtle, especially if you look at the edge. If you squint a little, maybe you'll see a, a, a little bit of gray. We added a little bit of color gradation because what we can do now with the materials available is that we can provide you with a, a restoration that doesn't look like a filling, right? One of the best compliments, and Ben I know will agree, is that if a patient ever looks at something you've done and they say, I can't even tell what you did, that's the ultimate compliment. That's right. And to do so in a minimally invasive manner, right? But you know what I'm talking about, right? You, and I've seen, I mean, I am one of your refers. I see the gorgeous work you do. And, and it just makes life so much better that we're able to provide our patients with this type of, of thing. Now, you have an affinity towards doing very beautiful aesthetic periodontal and plastic surgery, plastic periodontal or gum surgeries that we call periodontal plastic surgery. So you have an ability for that. So by us a being able to work with you, right, we can create these type of results and outcomes. But well, that's one of, you know what? Well, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it's an important no, point. Right I feel like viewers. I'm talking over you. No, no, no. You, I, I love what you're saying and it, beautiful representations and what can be done nowadays with dentistry. One of the things that I want to have our viewers note is that the gum tissue is all pink and firm because one of the things you want to do, you want to make sure that whatever dentistry you have, it's done in a properly planned and contoured way like you see here on the screen. You don't see any red bleeding gum. Sometimes I get patients in my practice who come into me who've had veneers, who had cosmetic work, the gums are puffy, they're bleeding, they're unhappy, they're complaining, they're sensitive. So I wanted to bring that out because just looking at your slide, I can see that image that's not going on. So, you know, kudos to you, Art, and continue. Thank you. So again, this is something that can be done by your dentist to provide you with a very minimally invasive type of treatment. So it's not only can I think look beautiful, but can also preserve two structures so that you have increased longevity of your teeth five, 10, 30 years down the road. So if we next go slide, to the Buda. next slide, if you don't mind. There we go. Oh, good. Okay, so you took the one. Perfect. Look at okay, those so ugly black spaces. Yeah, so this is an interesting, right, Ben? Because this is really the, the where the union of, of myself as a restorative dentist and a specialist uh, such as Dr. Ben, we come together because we have patients who may not have terrible decay. This is a patient whose teeth are more or less good, but he did not like those dark spaces. And so what can we do here? Well, we can drill the teeth like we did in that first photograph, to be honest. But what we did here in this case is we removed some of the old dentistry and there is some old fillings. You, even as a non-dentist, I think some of you will see those dark spots that are there. That's really some areas where there's like a, a little bit of roughness and so stain can build up there. But if stain can build up there, potentially bacteria can build up there. So what we did is we treated this patient by removing the old dentistry, but not drilling the natural underlying teeth. And we were able to do two things. We were able, I hope you will agree that we were able to improve the, the symmetry of the smile, the polish, the texture made it look natural, but also you'll see that those dark spaces, those dark triangles, and those dark triangles come from what? Well, sometimes they come from gum recession. So I'm gonna show one way that if you have gum recession 
and it cannot be treated in a surgical manner by someone like Dr. Fialkov. Are there other options for you? So if we can go just to the next yeah, let's slide. Let's go to the next slide, Buddha, so we can show the result now. And there you go, look at that. And so this is what we did. And again, this was done with a special uh, matrix and we still have the bottom teeth to do, but he was very happy with the top. But again, this is done with additive dentistry, meaning no drilling of healthy tooth structure. And that's very important for the audience to know that sometimes we are drilling healthy tooth structure to get like this beautiful result. But there are some options available. And you can see here, we have that beautiful pink tissue that Dr. Ben was talking about. We have a more symmetrical smile. We're able to get a nice polish. We're able to remove the dark staining. And so this is done with the same bonded material that you get for filling, but maybe applied in a different way. And this method, uh, for those who are interested, is called the BioClear method. And it was designed to help treat black triangles and these type of stained um, existing fillings on teeth to make the smile better. Well, I'm curious, why do they call it BioClear? Uh, that was the name that the, uh, that the inventor of the technique, it's Dr. David Clark, he's out of Tacoma, Washington. That was the name he gave it. He was a microscope dentist and he saw that things like black triangles were not necessarily properly treated because we didn't have the matrix system, we didn't have the visualization. So as a microscope dentist, he saw the impact of rough fillings. He saw the impact of bacteria close up right. on the teeth using the microscope. So he actually developed a very smooth uh, shape former to allow us to fill the areas near the gums in a very smooth manner. And you can, as you can see, it has a nice impact on the gum tissue as well. Beautiful. Let's go to the next slide, Buddha. What is this one, Ma? What is this one, Art? So, so this is interesting. This is a dental professional who came to my office and he has beautiful teeth. There's really nothing wrong here. He has gorgeous gum tissue, but was not necessarily really enamored of his smile. And so he said, well, can we do something about that? So in this case, what we're going to do here is we're going to remove some staining, maybe rough in some of the areas where there's a little bit of old dentistry. But what we're going to do is we're going to do an additive treatment that's going to revitalize the smile. And if you see, there's like a dark space between the two front teeth. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to improve the symmetry, close that space, and give him a more uh, pleasant, I guess, a smile would be the way to say it. So, Buddha, if you don't mind to go to the next slide, just to show you that, that sometimes your, your dentists are a little bit... Um, uh, have a little bit of, of OCD to make sure we do things right. And this is a, a technique called a rubber dam. I added this picture because on that lateral port, the tooth next to the front tooth, we call the lateral incisor, you can see there's something sticking out of the tooth. And that is the actual matrix itself. Uh, and so this is what we're using. And it's designed, again, in a way to be very kind to the gums, but allows you to treat the teeth in a non-invasive manner. Just wanted to put that out there that there are uh, some certain techniques we can use. And the next slide uh, will show you the final result. And Beautiful. this was what the patient's smile looked like. And using these techniques, you can see, he, being a dental professional, he has very good hygiene, but you can see the impact of having smooth surfaces uh, like those matrix system from BioClear, the impact it has on the gum tissue, but also just by adding material, how I think we were able to revitalize his smile. Very nice. Next slide, Buddha. So uh, the other thing about aesthetics, and I want to put this in here because this is kind of a smile uh, that, that we, we see often and, and people always ask, do you have to do all of your teeth? Do we have to treat the entirety of the smile? Is it, is it necessary? Can I just treat one or two teeth at a time? And this was a patient who was a young lady, very, very nice, but she wasn't very happy with her two front teeth. Now, if you look at her smile, and for the audience, I wanted to include a smile picture. You can see her smile is not bad. There's nothing here I would say that's bad, but there are more than two teeth, I think, that 
we would agree don't look fantastic. But for the patient, she really, and I mean really disliked her two front teeth. So by doing the tooth colored restorations, by doing the composite resin, by doing the bonding, again, all the same material, just different terms. Uh, what we were able to do here is we were just able to add material to her two front teeth. And I just want you to take a look at sometimes if you have a smooth surface, what can actually happen to your gum tissue? So, so I like this because I know Ben's watching that gum, but what we're gonna do here for this lovely patient is just treat the two front teeth. Because if she ever wanted to treat like those side teeth or you know those vampire teeth, they call canines, she can treat those in the future. But here's what we did. So Buddha, if you can put up the next slide, this is what we did, just two tooth colored fillings. And you can see just two simple fillings, how it can have still an impact on her smile. She was beyond happy with this. And when I show this to dentists, it's funny because they say, well, why don't you do the other teeth? I said, well, you know, her teeth are healthy. They don't have to be treated, but if she ever wants to, we can do it in the exact same manner. And I want you to take a look at the gums and you can see how, how healthy they are. And I think it's because we were able to create a very smooth surface, whereas actually her natural teeth were kind of rough and a little bit um, dipped in. So food is getting trapped there. Here, her gums are very smooth, her teeth are very smooth. And sometimes I feel, and, and Dr. Fialkov can, can uh, counterpoint me, but I think we can have a very nice outcome to the tissue as well by leaving things smooth. Absolutely, it looks beautiful. I can't, um, I can't really get over that the adjacent teeth look so much better by treating the two anterior teeth. It's, it's funny, right? And it's, that's the thing, you don't have to, and that's the point why I added this, this photo, because again, as I said, most dentists are like, well, it's not a nice case, because that's how we dentists are sometimes, unless you treated all the teeth. But as a, as, a, as a patient, if we're doing something elective, if you have something that bothers you, just know by doing this additive type treatment, we can address what bothers you. And that's so important, Ben, is really listening, I think, to our patients. It's so important to be able to communicate what you want. And as long as we don't do anything harmful, because there's some times I'll have patients, I say, absolutely not. But in a case like this, if we're doing something to the patient's benefit, if it's just changing two teeth, and I see eight teeth that really could, you know, make the smile glamorous, but it's you have the ability to choose. And I think we can do that for you. Absolutely. Let's go to the next slide because I want to make sure we cover all of what you brought the material. How about this one here? Okay. So this is an interesting one because this is a, a, a patient who just finished a course of orthodontic therapy and, and she had a bit of a tough time with it. Her, her, she was, orthodontist was very skilled. She was compliant and then non-compliant. And we see this with patients. And unfortunately, Ben, right, that's life. Patients are not always able to maintain. And, and for those of you who have braces, you know sometimes how hard it is to clean. I certainly know I did as a, a braces wearer myself. But what do we do here? Is there a way that we can treat this patient? Now, she has some cavities. And you can see she especially over the eye teeth, the side tooth, even her two front teeth have some cavities. What we're going to do here is we're going to treat her in a non-invasive way. Because to be honest, and I, I'm sure Ben will agree with me, I don't know if I would feel comfortable drilling teeth on a patient like this because they may not keep up with the necessary hygiene. And that's important. Absolutely, because you, absolutely, because you can see our, what's going on in some of the gum tissue. We're getting towards the end of the program. I want to make sure we get your pictures in. So let's, okay, put, so the, the, let's put the conclusion picture here. Go ahead, uh, Buddha, right. the next one. So this, is so this was done, done with without something. drilling. No drilling, except for any cavities. Wow. That is and amazing. This is, and this is with the composite veneering. That's right. So this is just direct by hand. My, I did by my own hands. Free-handed. We actually did eight teeth here. Beautiful. Beauty Let's go to the next one because I want to get I want to get in the pictures that you sent. Um, oh, what sure. is this This one? is just to show you what other options. This is just very simple. We'll go through this very quickly. Uh, this is just a patient who has beautiful teeth, but they're not straight. So what other option we can do, just very quickly, 
Go ahead, Buddha, and let's show the, let's show the conclusion. Is this Look at that. Braces, no movement of teeth. So those patients, and, and I have patients doing braces in their 70s and 80s. It's never too late to do it. There's considerations we have to take, but you can do braces. It's another option. So please, if your dentist suggests it, it may be something worthwhile. But let's go a little bit more and I'll finish with the last cases here. So yeah, let's go. How about this one? So this this one is, is, is interesting because I'll tell you why, Ben, just very quickly. This was a patient who came to the office, 24 years old, and he was told by his dentist that he wanted a better smile. He didn't like the space. The dentist said, I'll do uh, 10 veneers. I'm sorry, eight veneers and two crowns on these teeth. And he said, why? My teeth feel good. And he said, well, if you want a straight smile, I, I see your reaction, Ben, but you know this, wow. this happens. So tell me, tell me what you did. Tell me. So here we did some braces, like I showed you in the previous slide. We did braces, a little bit of bleaching. And if you want to just show ahead, the last Buddha, photo. That's a picture. Buddha, Wow. No, you're cheating. I don't, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. that can't be the same person. <laughs> and it's, and, and this guy was going to have 10 of his teeth drilled. And to be honest, look at that. Wow. Wow. So this is, this I, you is know what? Invasive thing. Unbelievable. I want to get, you have two more unbelievable cases. Buddha, let's put it in the next slide. Look at this. What is what, this? So one? this was, this was a young lady who, who she felt she had fallen. This was a technique. Also, if you have a discolored tooth and maybe you had some trauma as a child, uh, what we did in this case, just very quickly, is we did a type of bleaching. We did bleaching on the outside of the teeth, but we actually were able to do bleaching on the inside. So if you have one dark tooth, maybe ask your dentist if they do any type of what's called internal bleaching. Now, she had this old filling here. So all we did was a combination of bleaching the inside where the root canal is. We bleached her outside teeth, and then we replaced that old filling that you can see on the corner. Go ahead, Buddha. Let's see and what Buda, happens. This is the last one. And that's it wow. right there. Just very simply, we added a few colors. This had about four colors. And this is uh, what we call a post-operative result. So it just finished. And just to show you again, you can do these things without, and none of these cases involve, Ben, drilling of the teeth. Dude, I think there's one more. Is there one more, Buddha? And that, okay, so we got them all. I think that so I got to say something, Dr. Art. Very impressive. I can see why you're a diplomat of conservative cosmetic dentistry. It's been a thank pleasure you. to have you on the show. Ben, thank you so much for having me. Uh, again, I'm, I'm again so honored to be on a program like this. It's so great to, to look up, like, up to someone like you in the community. So please keep doing what you're doing. We're all proud of you here, especially in Queens uh, and around the world. So thank you so much. Well, you know, thank you for the accolades and it's professionals like you that restore confidence, trust, and in our world today, on top of cosmetic dentistry, let's look at this world and what Dr. Volker is doing with restoring smiles, confidence, and being trustworthy, which is so important in this world, we can really move forward. So thank you again, Dr. Volker. Thank you so much, man. Take care now. Goodbye, everyone. You have a great night. And for those of you watching, if you wanted to smile and you thought you couldn't, now you know that you can. So you can see your dentist. You, if you don't have a dentist, you can see Dr. Volker and move forward and have that beautiful smile you always wanted. Be well. This show was sponsored by A Time for Truth Foundation Incorporated as a community service. Sometimes life can be so damn hard. You don't know where to go. Everything is falling apart. Try to do your best, but only God knows that you've given everything you've got, but the world takes you down. You just keep moving on at your feet.